what is up people what is going on welcome back to a brand new video i hope you all had a good week uh, i thought I'd just film the opening segment of today's video uh the day before um, it's Monday evening and yeah, I'm just on my way home from work now. I uh, just arrived at Tesco's. But yeah, I basically just wanted to ask you guys what your views on Instagram are, whether you guys are active on Instagram and follow, you know, a lot of people you watch on YouTube, whether you follow them on Instagram as well. Um, as a few of you may know, like I don't get asked very often, but maybe every two or three weeks, someone will ask me, uh, you know, do you, do you have an Instagram to follow? And I do, I'll put it up up here for you. Um, but yeah, like I say, I'm not active on there. Every time I say, oh yeah, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not active on there yet, but I'm gonna post and it just looks like a load of shite <laughs> because I never do post. Um, but I do want to, it's just um, a bit like YouTube to be honest, I think starting is the hardest part. Um, I just need to post my first post. Um, but yeah, truthfully, I don't really know what the hell to post. Like what sort of things do you guys like to like to follow on Instagram? Like just general journey, day-to-day -day stuff. Like do you, do you watch a lot of stories or you know do you follow the, the posts as well or instead a bit more? Because me personally, like I like to, I generally sort of interact with a lot of guys that I watch on YouTube. I follow their Instagram, but I, I watch their stories a lot more than I keep on track of their, their posts. Um, but obviously, you know, I'd, I'd sort of do a, a bit of both. But um, yeah, just let me know if you guys sort of cross over onto Instagram as well and whether whether you'd be interested in, in you know, sort of what I get up to on Instagram or sort of on, on a daily basis, you know, through stories. Um, a little bit more personal than sort of the once or twice a week on YouTube here. And uh, yeah, just let me know what you think. Like leave your comments down below on, on, on what you like to watch on, on Instagram, what you like to follow. And um, yeah, I'll see what I can do. I just need to, to get out of my lazy ass habits of just um, just not posting on there. And um, yeah, just crack on and post my first post really. But anyway, enough of that shite. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna head into Tesco's and grab some dinner. Um, I'm just gonna chill out tonight. I've got a little bit of work to do for, for work in general. Um, a little bit to catch up on and then yeah, I'm gonna get up probably get an early night because I need to get up bright and early tomorrow to film a chest and back workout uh, Before I go to work. So yeah, I'll probably be up at about 6 a.m. Bright and early. So I'll catch you there Right then people, so before we hit the chest and back workout, we've got one uh, coffee with a little bit of skim milk and two pieces of toast with about 30 grams of peanut butter spread across both, about 15 grams on each. Yeah, it's pretty early. Uh, it is about quarter past seven now. Um, good work at about, well, I should leave about 25 to nine really. So I'm gonna quickly get this down my neck and then hop into a chest and back workout. So let's go. Right then guys, that is breakfast all done. Now, I am literally about to hit a workout and some of you might think it's a bit weird, you know, literally just eating and then going straight into a workout. And I got to admit, I wouldn't usually literally directly before, but for me, like a full stomach is way better than an empty stomach. Like on an empty stomach, I just feel so so sick if I, if I do exercise, like I need food in me. I'm not one of those people that needs to wait, you know, like sort of 60 or 90 minutes to, to train after consuming, you know, your pre-workout. I literally, I can eat and I'm, and I'm ready to go. Um, still got about half of this coffee, but I really need to crack on uh, so I can fit it in before work. So this is gonna be become the intra workout as well. So let's go. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another voiceover here for my chest and back workout routine. Again, at home, not ideal, but um, a pair of adjustable dumbbells is much better than nothing. Much better than body weight, that's for sure. Um, I do miss those compounds though, you know? I really, really do miss those compounds. As you can see here, you know, I'm not, I'm not going too heavy. Well, I can't go too heavy with these dumbbells anyway. Um, but to be honest with you, on this day here, um, I sort of experienced a few little niggles, a few little uh, aches and, and, and pains. So I thought it's best to keep it light rather than uh, you know go heavy and potentially you know potentially injure myself a little bit further um, and you know ultimately hindering those sessions later on down the week. Um, so yeah, I went I went really light here, really controlling that movement, um, going all the way down uh, eccentrically. Um, I know with the chest press, like it's a bit of a funny one. Some people like to go sort of. Um, you know, they don't have to go below their shoulders um, for sort of, you know, damaging the shoulders, bit of shoulder mobility. And I do agree with that to an extent. Um, although when it's such light weight like this for me, um, I thought it'd be more beneficial to, you know, train those tendons as well. Um, and, and, you know, sort of strengthen that, that shoulder there um, by going all the way down. A little bit more with a heavier weight, I probably wouldn't have done so. 
um, as much because yeah, you know, it, it can potentially cause injury um, a lot more so than when, when you do lightweight. So as you can see here, we're going on to a dumbbell uh, row. Um, did three sets of about eight to 15 reps here. Um, again, the rep range is high because the weight is fairly low. Um, with a heavier weight, I'd probably stick within sort of the six to 12 rep range, work within that range. Um, as I think that's just, that's for me, especially that's the, well, a combination of both, I think is, is the best way to promote muscle growth. Um, probably a little bit more emphasis on the six to 12 rep range, but definitely mixing in the, the uh, you know, the 12 to 15 rep range as well. Um, onto an incline dumbbell press. Now I do usually start with this one because, um, you know, the incline is, is something I want to work on that sort of top line, um, get rid of those collarbones. Um, but as you can see here, the bench is just, it's not the one like my, my, <laughs> my upper body is longer than the, than the, uh, the back bench. So, you know, my head literally hangs off. Um, so again, doing heavy weight, that's not ideal. Um, yeah, God, just get me back in the gyms. I cannot wait, seriously. I think it's about, 30, no, about 20 days left. So what's that, about just under three weeks? Absolutely buzzing. Um, this movement, you can probably tell, is not great for me. Um, I've been trying it out recently. I've never been able to connect with it too well. Um, I've always just found it a little bit awkward. I don't, I don't quite know why. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm doing it, I'm doing it correctly. Um, I know a lot of people sort of yank it up, um, you know, sort of yank it up like this and, and end up sort of, sort of hurting their neck a little bit. Um, but I was trying to really, um, you know, row it, you know, so I'm bringing it sort of uh, forwards and, and use my, my hands as hooks uh, rather than, you know, squeezing it. Um, but yeah, so something I can't really connect well with. I'm not too sure why. Um, if you guys got any tips on that movement in particular, please do leave the comments down below. Um, I'm still gonna give it a go. I think, you know, you shouldn't, shouldn't just cut out an exercise after a few tries. Um, this movement here is fantastic. A um, bit of a weird one with the adjustables because uh, you know it can sort of connect them together in order to really contract that chest. It can be a little bit difficult, difficult with the plates on these dumbbells. Um, but with normal dumbbells, these are a fantastic, fantastic chest movement and one that I love to do in the gym. Um, and then we finished off with some dumbbell shrugs. A nice, simple, simple movement. Um, really good for the upper back. Really good for the trapezius. And um, yeah, it's simple to do. Um, again. You know, not too heavy here. I wouldn't go too heavy anyway. Um, I like to focus on form primarily more than anything else um, with this movement as I feel like I can really, you know, really connect well with it. But yeah, that was the session, guys. Um, really, really enjoyed it. Give it a go and let me know in the comments what you think. Bloody hell, I am knackered. That's, that's the thing with home workouts, like the ventilation in the, uh, you know, in the house is just not great. I could do with aircon blasting on me. As you can see, I look an absolute sweaty mess. Um, so I need to hop in the shower quickly before I head to work. But I just wanted to end this video here before I do so. Um, yeah, it was a decent workout. As you can see from the weight, I did a very, very light day today. Wasn't feeling too great. A few niggles, a little bit of, uh, you know, achy joints and, and achy muscles. So thought I'd keep it, you know, very, very light and high reps, high volume. As you can see, I did three exercises for chest and three for back. Um, so yeah, it's very, very high volume, um, high reps, because I, you know, I, I'm not a believer in doing the same rep range every, every workout anyway. I think you need to stick within a few rep ranges and, and do them repetitively. So you can obviously improve on it week on week and, and you know, make those gains. I mean, the logbook can ultimately make those gains in the physique, but I do believe that you should change it up a little bit just to, you know, uh, the myth of sort of shocking the muscle, but also I do believe that, you know, you res your muscles respond better to a variation of different rep ranges week in and week out. Um, so yeah, I just did a high, high rep one today. Next one will probably be low, a slightly lower volume and heavier weight, again, just to mix it up. But yeah, I was feeling, feeling a little bit achy today, so I thought I'd better, to, better to get something in uh, rather than nothing at all. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, that voice over there as well, with a few little uh, tips and tricks in that as well. Next week, I'll probably film my leg day. Um, it's legs just with dumbbells only, so it's not, it's not the best, obviously. Um, you know, it's not ideal without the machines and, and obviously the heavy, heavy compounds. But um, yeah, we've got to make do with what we can until April the 12th. Speaking of which, is not long now at all. I think we've got about maybe three or four weeks left. So yeah, it's really not long at all. And I'm absolutely buzzing. I know a lot of you guys are as well. Um, I'm going to be straight in that gym at 6 a.m. with the camera, filming some good footage for you guys. And uh, yeah, start the comeback really. Now we're just sort of, we're kind of maintaining um, what little bit of muscle we have left. Um, you know, we lost a considerable amount over over the months, partly down to my, my lack of, well, just lack of laziness, to be honest with you. There's, not, no, there's no real excuse. You know, I could have maintained a lot better, but to be fair, I just, yeah, my, my mindset was not in it. And and to be honest, that, that's okay. You know, you, you've got to realize these, those moments when when you're not motivated. And, and if you can step back and realize that, 
you can you know hopefully sort of switch up your mindset um, gradually it's not it's not an overnight thing but um, yeah I think I'll finally get into the stage where I'm feeling motivated to get back feeling motivated to put some uh, good content out for you guys so yeah be sure to like the videos guys smash that like button uh, comment down below it really does help the algorithm you know the more comments the better the more likes the better um, even if you dislike the video I'm sure that'll help but please don't dislike the video please give it a thumbs up and as always I'll catch you guys next week for the next one